Today we're talking about what I use for and pack in my teacher bag for our homeschool co-op. Hey everybody, I'm Lois. If you are new here, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. My responsibility at our co-op is the kindergarten math class. So the items that I have packed in my bag are the items that I need to teach that class. Now, I also pack items that I will need for my own personal needs, such as lunch, snacks, water, or coffee. I also have some diapers and wipes for my eight-month-old daughter who does attend co-op with us. She is um, mostly in her carrier on my back while I am teaching class, but I do still pack items for her. So the bag that I chose as my teacher bag this year is the Dagny Dover Vita Tote. This gorgeous tote bag is made from an organic cotton and it is probably my favorite style tote that I have ever come across. It is a structured bag, so the walls of the tote don't fall in, they're not floppy, and I love that. It gives it a very clean and elegant look. There are a ton of slip pockets and also zippered pockets on the inside of this bag. All right, so I'm gonna change the camera angle a little bit and I will show you what I have packed in here. All right, so this is the Dagny Dover Large Vita Tote. It is made from an organic cotton and I'll give you a close-up look of the actual texture here. The bottom of the bag and the main interior compartment does have some sort of a wax lining which is going to protect those high wear areas. All right, so let's take a look at how I have my Dagny Dover Large Vita Tote packed. In the top small slip pocket, I keep my iPhone. This is a great space for that and it keeps my phone easily accessible to me. It's also large enough for me to keep my car keys. In one of the front slip pockets, I keep my iPad. This is an iPad Pro 11 inch. I also keep my teacher planner in there. In the other slip pocket, I keep my CBGO silicone wipe pouch. This is the wipe pouch that I use to store all of my daughter's wipes and her diapers that we may need for the day while we are at co-op. The large zipper compartment on here is large enough for four size three diapers and a disposable change pad. All right, so turning the bag over and giving you a look at the opposite side. In this slip pocket right here, I have a pouch that has my daily Bible and gratitude journal. In the other slip pocket, I have a small wet bag. And in here, I keep my DIY hand sanitizing wipes that I make for the kids from reusable cloth wipes. And behind that is another pouch. In here, I keep my own disposable face masks. All right, so changing the angle of the camera here, you get a really good look at the short tote straps, which is very comfortable to grab, and the longer shoulder straps. I am 5'2", and these straps are the perfect length for me to carry my tote over my shoulder, and they don't slip, which is a huge bonus. So at the very top of the bag, I keep a shawl or a scarf. I usually use this to either cover myself if I'm cold or I will use it as a nursing cover for my daughter or a blanket for her. Next, I have a Petunia Pickle Bottom medium sized pixel case. And in here, I keep some of the items that I use for class. There is a buzzer that we use for when we're doing fun activities. And then I also have three different type of dice. These dice are great icebreakers, they're great games, and they're great for kids to visually recognize numbers. Next, I have a Petunia Pickle Bottom Passy Pod. In here, I do keep some extra binkies for my daughter because she does have a tendency to throw them around. So I always wanna make sure that I have a clean one for her. In this back zippered compartment, I keep my mommy essentials. 
I like to keep them away from all the teaching supplies so they're more discreet. So in here I have some lip gloss, some essential oils, lotion sticks, um, some other mommy essentials, and my wallet with my ID and cards because it never fails that I always need those items to either pay a bill or pay co-op fees. By the way, this bag is lined with a very wipeable nylon material. In these small interior slip pockets, I keep my small pieces from my Lily Jade packing cases. This pink one I use for my first aid kit for cough drops, Deuterra on guard drops, and any essential oils that I want access to during class. In the opposite one, I have another small packing case, and this is kind of my stationary bag. I have scissors, a hole punch, a stapler, a pencil sharpener, some dry erase markers, and then also some sticky notes in case I need to leave myself or the parents a note. And that is all I have in those two slip pockets. Moving to the interior packing compartment, I have two large Lily Jade packing cases. In this one, I have the integer blocks from Math UC. These are really fantastic math manipulatives for kids to um, help them see and understand the concept of addition or subtraction. In the next large packing case, I also keep some more math manipulatives from learning resources. One of them is a um, 3D shape. The next one is just basic flat shapes. And in my Petunia Pickle Bottom white case, I actually love keeping my pattern blocks from learning resources. And in a few moments, I'll show you what we use these for. All right, so moving on, next I have my curriculum book. This is actually not the book we are using this year. That book is still en route to me, but I just wanted to give you an example of what fits in here. I also have a document holder, and this has all of my kind of icebreakers when we start our math class. In here, I have some learning resource bingo games that I actually got from the dollar store, and I love these. The kids love them, they're easy to use, and they are great. They have both shapes, numbers, and colors. And then I also keep my printouts in here. These are um, the roll and cover math printouts from Teacher Pay Teachers, and this is what we use our learning resource pattern blocks for. Next, I have just a basic folder to keep my documents organized. And then I do have a wet bag with an umbrella in here. I always carry a wet bag with my umbrella. So if it is raining and my umbrella is wet, I can put it in my wet bag and it is not going to ruin anything else in my bag. Next up, I have a insulated lunch pouch from 31. This is a very slim lunch pouch that I absolutely love because it fits so much. It is the size of a folder. So there's plenty of space there. It just doesn't take up a whole lot of room in my tote bag. So in here I have a large stasher pouch, which is great for sandwiches. I have a medium stasher pouch, which is fantastic for sliced fruit or pretzels, and then a small stasher pouch for nuts. I can also fit my daughter's Gobi snack spinner in here for her baby cereal or her teething crackers. And then I also have a food pouch for her as well. And then for myself, a travel straw in case I need it. So in this back Velcro closed compartment, I keep my 15 inch HP laptop. All right, and the last item I have in here is my Swell Travel coffee mug. I love this coffee mug because it truly does not leak and it keeps my coffee or tea hot for hours. I have that sitting in the included neoprene cup holder that you can easily snap in or out of your Dagny Dover tote.
And that's it. That is what I carry in my Dagny Dover Vita Tote teacher bag. I hope you found this information helpful. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.